Hey guys, Anthony here, back with some more content. Uh, today we're going to be creating a uh, 3D uh, animation and it's going to be a music UI that we create today. So uh, let's start in and get started. So then guys, we're going to open up our Exco project and we're going to start typing in our project name. So I'm just going to save this anywhere, feel free to save it anywhere. So now we're just set up to the iPhone 13 I have on the uh, right hand side. We're going to drag and drop our assets in. We're going to start creating our home view here and also our cover. So I'm going to import Swift UI here and we're going to start writing out our cover. This is going to be identifiable. And this is where we're going to start adding our information um, for our covers. So our cover name, so it'll be our song name, our cover image will be the album image um, in this example. So we're going to use uh, is liked as well. So now we're just coming here, here, we're just going to start bringing out our covers. And these are the images that we're going to see first thing on our uh, uh, view. And these will be... When you click on these, this is going to be um, where we add in our 3D um, effect, our 3D animation. So I'm just going to start typing out our covers here. So we've got uh, one right now from Post Malone and The Weeknd, uh, Jawbreaker from Machine Gun Kelly, Burn is um, Juice World, and we've got another Post Malone one there as well. So this is um, going to be for our list of artists that run um, underneath our main set of images. This is going to be our um, last added or added newly. So we've got Best Friends from The Weeknd, uh, Bloody Valentine from Machine Gun Kelly, uh, Rockstar It's Prime is again another Juice World song. Um, and we've got another Weeknd song there as well. Uh, call me nobody is um, cle clever or something I think ring I think and that's uh, ring ring is also by uh, clever and juice world we've got circles by Post Malone and over right now is another Post Malone song as well so now we're going to dive in here and we're just going to add in our home view and our content view here now this is where we're going to start running in and creating our states and everything that we need to bring our view together and sort with the animations as well so I'm going to use namespace for animation, this is really good. So I'm just going to speed through here and just add these in. Awesome, so now we are going to start working on our body view. So I'm going to start off with a hashtag and then add in a... So I'm going to, this is where I'm going to add in our buttons, and so he's going to go through to the top. So this is our line, like a menu. I'm going to add in a spacer here, and this is where we're going to have our airplay for our audio and the person as well. It's going to be listen now, and we're just going to add some padding for a foreground. We're going to give that a quick run. And it's pretty awesome, guys, so far. So let's go ahead and start creating our uh, next stage of you. So here we're going to be using uh, our view view builder here I'm just going to add this in and this is going to be our stacked covers so this is going to be our main center point of the app here so we're just going to create a for each and this is going to just cover what we are having in here what we're calling so I've just added in that there so now we're just going to call in some images our image covers that we want that we've named before so we're just going to give these a uh, resizable and our corner range so we're going to add in our 3d effects here so we're just going to call on all the areas that we need just going to do this again and we're just going to call in some different areas Awesome, we're going to change this to 360, that will be our rotation um, effect right there. So when we click on it, hopefully it will um, do our, our 3D animation. 
Also, we're just going to have to also add in a tab gesture as well. So when it's clicked on, we are doing um, the right thing as well. Awesome. So now I'm just going to copy, copy and paste that in there as well because it's exactly what we need. So we're just going to add our uh, offset. Awesome. <laughs> that was just my um, fiance walking in there. Sorry for that. So we're going to get back to it now. We're adding an offset. We're going to add a frame as well. Just going to copy and paste that in there because it's exactly what we need there. I'm just going to add a front weight for this as well. Now we're going to go ahead and create a V stack for a leading. And this is just going to be our bottom bit now. So recently added um, in here, I'm going to use semi bold. We're going to give some power on the horizontal and the bottom. There we go. There was a reason why that's not running because we added small set C's. There we go. There's our covers. So there's a slight problem there that we are going to look for. Um, I've used. There we go. All good, so that's exactly how we want it. So we're going to go ahead now and add in our scroll view here. And this is basically going to put all of our uh, covers um, of, the, of the artists that we had so for our second one um, with the long list. We're just going to add this in here just underneath. And there we go, that's awesome. And that's scrolling. It's very cool. Awesome. So we're just going to add in our background here, we'll give an overlay, we've got some more things to do though. We're going to work on our uh, um, show detail. Um, so now we can, when we click on our main images, we can go to the next page and go from there. So we're going to, go, we're going to do a view builder again, and this is going to be our detail view. Awesome, so we have that up and running, so now we're just going to add some stuff in here. So we're going to start with our buttons. And there is a slight problem there, I don't know why right now. Well, we're going to continue anyway. Um, so it's, it's all looking good, there we go. I'm just going to pull those images down from over there, just copy that in as well. Awesome. So this is now going to be our detail view, so we've clicked on that, this is what we're looking for now, we're coming back in, adding the 3D animation on there as well, we'll just comment that out to get rid of those errors at this time, add some stuff in here, take some stuff out. Awesome, now we're going to create a V-Stack. And this is going to be the title of the um, the current song. Uh, well, obviously it's going in the list view. So now we're going to add a shuffle, uh, pause, and that's going to be we're going to get that background color of red. So it's going to be in a circle first as well. Awesome. So now this is going to be our quotation setup. So quotation below is basically when you know you want to look at the lyrics, I suppose. And we're going to put playing next. Cool. I'll click on it, there we go, that's awesome. Have a, have a good stretch, good laugh, good sing. So now, um, in here now, we're, we're practically just making a list of our next set. So we're going to have our uh, second lot of covers, um, the ones that are on the play on uh, recently added. And we're just going to have those in a list view with obviously the cover, the title name, and a couple more things in there as well. So we're just checking that all this is in the right way because that doesn't look good to me. Uh, we may have to come back over to that, but we're going to carry on anyway. I'm going to create a cover card. So this has the image cover. Um, 
which now we're gonna put in a V stack. So it's gonna be our cover name and label. This is where we're just gonna add in our this is how many times it's been listened to. And we're gonna have a chart up line there. Awesome. So now we're gonna come down and we're gonna add in our liked. So this is basically me. This is now where we would um, have our animation for something clicked, I suppose. But in this case, um, we're just going to add it already filled. So I'm just going to give this a quick run. Hopefully, this is it. Awesome, guys. And that's our uh, Apple Music UI, just a little bit redesigned. So thank you guys for watching today's tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. And the uh, source code will be available on my Patreon. Um, thank you all for the support. Thank you very much.